What's good? What's good, YouTube? Once again, it's one and only OG Hollywood bringing the Ferguson Corner live. From day room to the living room to the streets. Today I have in studio individual by the name of OG Mr. Born and Raised in Fort Worth, Texas. And he's here today to tell his story and his time spent in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. So without further ado, let's tap in with Mr. Mr. Police. What's good, OG? What's up with you? What's up with you, man? How you doing, Mr. Hollywood, OG Hollywood? Oh, I'm good, man. Like I said, man, uh, like I was explaining to the viewers, man, I just brought you in, man, to tell your story of the time spent in Texas Department of Criminal Justice, man. And uh, anything else you might want to add, you know, to your story, man. So do me a favor, man. Go ahead and tell the viewers, man, a little bit about you, where you was from, and uh, what led to the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Well, first of all, my name is OG Mr. Teflon, you know what I'm saying, from Westside Harlem, Rome 30 Crips, you understand me, Fort Worth Branch. Um, man, I've been down here in Texas ever since 89, you know what I'm saying, uh, but I have family here in Texas, so I've been coming here back and forth from Texas from here to Cali and Georgia, you know what I'm saying, for since I was a little dude, I'm talking about a little, little dude. Uh, I started gangbanging back in 85, you know what I'm saying, uh, I was in Georgia, and uh, my, my father and my mother was in the military, and um I got in some trouble and everything, so my my mom and them they sent me back to Cali. So when I go went back to Cali, you know what I'm saying, I get put down, you know what I'm saying. Um, went back to George, got in some more trouble, you know what I'm saying, and uh, went to Job Corps and then came here. I've both been going back to Cali, but they sent me to a plane, sent me on a plane to here, and I, I ended up here since '89. I've been here in, in uh, Fort Worth, Texas, since '89. Um, what led me to going to going to the prison system? <sighs> Out here in these streets gang banging thinking that i'm tough thinking that uh i can do that and do this and you know what i'm saying and not even uh, uh deal with the consequences but uh, uh they got some they got somewhere for you believe me and uh my first time going down you know what i'm saying i signed up for a little boot camp you know what i'm saying i went did you know what I'm saying my little 90 days of the boot camp and uh wasn't going it didn't work out they got back out went start doing the same thing hooked up with different different dudes with the gang banging some more you know what i'm saying doing my thing you know what i'm saying my thug thistle you know what I'm saying? I uh, kept getting locked up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, then I got locked up in 93. When I got locked up in 93, I was having my, my first child. And um, it was crazy because, you know what I'm saying? She got locked. When I got locked up, you know what I'm saying? The baby mama, my baby mama, you know what I'm saying? Tanisha Miller had her. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when I was incarcerated, uh, I was actually facing an aggravated life sentence because they had me for like 15 aggravated robberies. And, um, by the time I left Arlington County Jail, they they dropped fourteen accounts, left me with one, and uh, when I went in front of the grand jury, you know, what I'm saying notice when you go in front of the grand jury, you got nobody in there, you don't got no lawyer, you don't got nobody but the court reporter and the twelve jury jurors and whatever, you know, what I'm saying the <coughs> assistant DA and the DA, whatever, you know, what I'm saying and uh, you know, what I'm saying the judge, you know, what I'm saying so, you know, when I went in front of them, you know, what I'm saying to plead my case, whatever, you know, what I'm saying uh, they end up dropping it, you know, what I'm saying they no built me or no bond me, what I think no no built me, you know, what I'm saying and then I end up going down. The Lord sent me down anyway, you know what I'm saying, for a parole violation, you know what I'm saying, and I stayed gone from 93 already to 98. Man, when I say that uh, first stepping off into that prison system, into, into the prison system, it was something that, you know what I'm saying, that I can't really explain because it was like mind-blowing because it was a world that I didn't never, never, never thought that I'd be in, even though that I was a gangbanger and I lived on, you know what I'm saying, doing, you know what I'm saying, stuff on the street. Yeah. Going to the prison system, having somebody that's twice as younger than you telling you what to do, having somebody, you know what I'm saying, tell you when you can when you can go outside and play basketball or when you can shower and wash your ass or when you can uh, 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 lay down or when you can go eat or when you can even go to a store. You know what I'm saying? It was something new to me. You know what I'm saying? And so it was, all that was just like something new, man. You know what I'm saying? And, man, stepping into your way. Oh, man. I don't even know where to start with that. <laughs> thinking that you know how to fight, thinking you coming from the street and you big and bad. Believe me, there's somebody in that penitentiary that's bigger and badder than you. They don't give a care that you there. They don't give a care who you is, what you represent, all they care about. They've been there for such so long, a long amount of time, and they ready to knock your head off if you step out to them the wrong way. Oh, let's first meet. Let me see what I can do to him. You know what I'm saying? And believe me, man, it was it was it was it was, it was crazy. So me, let me ask you this, man. So. You know, so the viewers can uh 
get a high overview of the unit you went to, right? Yes, sir. What was the first unit? All right, my first unit, I was on Gory Unit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we went. I went to Gory Unit. You know what I'm saying? Trustee camp outside doing the little boot camp stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't for me. And then, like I said, I ended up. You know what I'm saying? Going, going back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, they wanted to put me on some probation, that Judith Curry probation and stuff. But I was still out there doing me. And uh, I just went back. You know what I'm saying? But the problem is, I went back on something that I didn't have nothing to do with. They picked me up for like I said for 15 aggravated robberies and I ain't had they didn't have proof that I didn't now one of the robberies. It's just they wanted to get me off the street because I was a known gang bigger banger in the, in Arlington and Fort Worth area. And uh go ahead and tell us as far as the units that you were placed on in your time in Texas Department of Criminal Justice, whether it be Beto One, Ferguson, Clemens, any of those units. Oh man, say my, my first unit 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 I hit was uh the go burning the uh, the old burning uh, uh burning hill uh Clemens, you know what I'm saying out there in Missouri County. That's when it went down, you understand know me? That's when I, I that's where I learned a lot a lot about growing up on you know what I'm saying with them Clemens unit, you know what I'm saying? Uh man, uh out there in them fields, riding with the essays, riding with the white boys, even sometimes riding with you know what I'm saying? My own skin color. You know what I'm saying? But uh, one thing I did learn, you know what I'm saying, up in there, you know what I'm saying, is that it doesn't matter. It didn't matter who was my enemy at that time when it come down to a race or ride. Because this man here, I can be shooting at this man. I can be shooting at this man or or me and this man can get banging against each other real, real hard. You know what I'm saying? In the streets. You know what I'm saying? Something that me and you talked about earlier. You know what I'm saying? And getting the penitentiary and this man ever saving my life. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to speak about this one dude named uh, 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 Antonio Gomez. And his real name is Tony Gomez, a.k.a. Lunch Me. You know what I'm saying? Up there at the west side. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 he'll roll a 60 at the west side. Um, me and him, we hit sister unit together. And uh, me being dumb, I'm out there in the, in, the, in, the, in the pavilion, rapping, spitting my game. You know what I'm saying? Chilling like everybody else doing, not understanding what's going on. And before you know it, I'm in a full blast ride 35 essays against 15 blacks and one white he could have went in and left me you understand me but he chose to come out there and help me fight it wasn't his fight it wasn't even my fight but he came because because we came down together yeah so when, he, when he did that you know what i'm saying the warden from from justice one two and three he came down there and he walking you walking by us got to ship us all off and everything I grabbed him and put him right, right behind me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking at the ward like, no, nah, you ain't gonna let me, ain't about to take him. You gonna take me before you take him, you know what I'm saying? So he ended up taking me and he had been finished this time, you know what I'm saying? You know, a little bit more this time on Central and uh, went on, went on. But shit, I went from Justice 3 to Clemens Unit, from Clemens Unit to Conley Unit. Yeah. Conley Unit was wide open. When I when we hit Conley Unit, it was wide open. It was, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean when I say wide open? It was wide open, yeah. it was a youth unit. We had folks from Beto, we had folks from Ferguson, we had folks from Cofield, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 it was just wide open, youngster, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, uh, then they then they messed around and put us all on, on lockdown for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Act, this exit, exit this for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Put us all on the gang files, who was on gang files and everything, you know? Then, then brought us back up, put us back in population and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, I did time, you know what I'm saying, with my boy, uh, Lil Devil. Rest in peace, little devil. You know what I'm saying? Little Derek, you know what I'm saying? Uh Cutthroat Fred Harris, you know what I'm saying? Um, my boy Lowdown, you know what I'm saying? For Fort Worth Lowdown, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh much love to him. I gotta give a special shout out for him because, like I said, man, me being young in the penitentiary system, not knowing nothing, not knowing the H Town or in D Town and Fort Worth and don't like each other and all that stuff there. I got myself in a bond because I was in the cell with a, with a dude that was from Houston and he didn't like me because I was from Fort Worth, whatever, however, yeah. and uh he tried to jump on me one time when I was in the cell. So I'm fighting him up in the cell and everything. And the dude had me in the headlock. My dude, uh, uh, Lowdown, come walking down the runway. He's like, Trayo, Trayo, come bring that nigga to the bars. Bring that nigga to the bars, cuz. I brought that nigga to the bars. He reached in, bop, bop, bop. Get up off my homeboy. You know what I'm saying? When he did that, I, boom, 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 boom. You know, did, took care of my business. You know what I'm saying? You know? Um, but yeah, I, I give much love for him because I feel like, you know what I'm saying? If he didn't do that, you know what I'm saying? I probably wouldn't have been. I, I probably wouldn't have been here because, you know what I'm saying, I probably wouldn't have been dead because I wasn't going to stop fighting them anyway. Yeah. You know? But, uh, yeah, man, uh, <laughs> being behind, locked up behind them bars, man, you know what I'm saying, uh, I was locked up with some, I was locked up with some real OG, with some real OGs, you know what I'm saying, uh, matter of fact, uh, 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 um, 
the Godfather Fo Trey out here, little Robert. You know what I'm saying? I was locked up with him. You know what I'm saying? Good friends. You know what I'm saying? Plus he, yeah. he's, uh, he halfway kid to me. You know what I'm saying? In so many, so many ways. But yeah, I did time with a lot of people, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of OGs. You know what I'm saying? Fort Worth, Dallas, Houston, the OGs. You know what I'm saying? Even Mexican OGs. You know what I'm saying? Did a lot of time with them. You know what I'm saying? Me. And being behind them bars, man. One thing, two things for show. If you don't have nobody that you feel that like you could talk to. Or if you don't have nobody that you feel like is not on your side, that's on your team, and you go out there and you try to get down with the wrong set of people, the wrong influence people, you're gonna lose your life in that penitentiary, man. You're gonna really lose your life in that penitentiary because it's not made, it's not made for that. It's made for you to go down and get and, and, and get your lesson and come on back, you know what I'm saying, to this world, you know what I'm saying? But down there is a whole different game. It's a whole different ball game. You can go down there with a five-year sentence and somebody here's with a with an aggravated life sentence that ain't going home. Ain't gonna like the fact that you got five years and you're not gonna go home because he gonna end up getting you in some in some in some trouble and you're gonna end up doing more than that five years. You know what I'm saying? Down there, you can't even get into a fight now, you know what I'm saying, without them pressing free roll charges and stuff on you. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's it, the penitentiary system is just crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to help you, you know what I'm saying, learn from your rights and wrong, but a lot of times it don't help you, it damages you and puts you in a place that where you feel like that I can't be helped, but you can be helped. There is help. Believe me. So let me ask this, man. So I want to ask you a few questions about uh, as far as because I want to, you know, I want, I want I want to kind of like clarify some man as far as from a a gang standpoint, right? Although I've never been uh initiated in any gang nor do I knock those that have been, you know, initiating the game because it's, you know, we all free and it's it's a choice of whatever we want to do with our life, right? Yes, sir. But what I want to ask you, man, is that uh, when you were growing up in Fort Worth, right? Mm -hmm. or, or should I say coming from LA, right? This us yes, start right there. Yes, sir. What is the difference between LA gang members and Texas gang members. The difference between LA gang members is because they LA gang members, we all about gang banging. <laughs> it's gang banging with us. You understand me? Yeah. I didn't learn nothing about no swag or about no, how can I say it, about no hustle. You know what I'm saying? So I got to Texas. You know what I'm saying? Texas taught me how to be a hustler. Texas taught me how to get out there and get it. Cali taught me how to be a gang banger. You know what I'm saying? Do what I got to do. It's all for this. It's all for that. It's all for them thumbs. You know what I'm saying? It's all for them trades. You know what I'm saying? That That's what. Cali taught me, you understand know me? You know what I'm saying? The brothership, the love, and all that shit, the connection, you understand know me? But Texas taught me how to be a hustler, how to me, have me taught me how to go out there and get it, how to be a go-getter. You know what I'm saying? You know, because I didn't have I didn't have nothing. I didn't I didn't know nothing about no, I didn't know nothing else but but gang banging. But you know what I'm saying? That's all I knew. But gang banging, I'm a gang banger. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm a I'm a West South Harm 30 gang banger. You can't take this from me. You know what I'm saying? It's all about my hood, it's all about that, all about this. But when I got in Texas. Texas showed me a whole new way, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, like they like like they put a whole new chip in me, you know what I'm saying? And, and taught me a whole lot of things. Now, I'm not saying that Cali wasn't about, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, they hustle and all that stuff. It was just two different, it was just a different a different vibe. It was a different thing, you understand me? From Texas, you know what I'm saying, to Cali. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? When I got down here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I just, you know, just adapted. And we'll see with my family being in the military, it was easy for me to be, it was easy for me to adapt because, you know, we've been to Germany, we've been to Kentucky, been to Nashville, we've been everywhere. So it was easy for me to adapt. I had to adapt because the places I was going to. So, you know, I just, when I came here to Texas, I started adapting to it and, and I learned, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's, it, it, it's a whole different vibe, man. That's all I can say. It's a whole different vibe, man. And let me ask this. So, uh, when you got to Fort Worth, Texas, right? Yes, sir. What was the gang like in Fort Worth, Texas when you got there? Oh, when I got here in 89, when I got here, like to stay here in 89, you know what I'm saying? You know, it wasn't really about gang banging, you know what I'm saying? It was just up on the rise of gang banging, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it was, oh uh, man, it reminded me, it, it put me like I was, like I ain't never left Cali at that moment in time because I was like, whoa, they shooting. <laughs> Oh, these folks, they 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 roll with it down here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they doing it like this here. You know what I'm saying? You know, so it it <laughs> it was just how it is, man. It was it, it it was that lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
when it started taking up and taking the place and the ball started really, really, really rolling, like back in 91 and 92 and 93, when it started really, 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 really rolling and stuff, you know what I'm saying? That's when you really, that's when I really start seeing, I'm like, man, yeah, it's getting like, it's getting like Cali. Matter of fact, it's getting kind of worse than Cali because these dudes over here, they, they doing it, you know what I'm saying? It, yeah. it, it's real live, you know what I'm saying? This, you know what I'm saying? We don't need no cable, mama. We thugging outside for real, you know what I'm saying? And it's just, it just went down. <laughs> so let me ask this, cause I mean, you know, I'm just trying to get a clear understanding, man, because you know it always be a discrepancy between as if Texas Crips are not equal to LA Crips. Or so you know if that makes sense. Say, uh OG Hollywood, I'm gonna put you like this here. I'm a crip. I don't care if I don't care if you're a Cali Crip, I don't care if you're a Texas Crip, I don't care if you're an African Crip, I don't care if you're a Belizean Crip. You understand me? If you cripping and you real with this cripping, we cripping. I you know what I'm saying it, it doesn't matter to me where you're from. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter to me because it ain't where you're from, it's where you at. I'm not in Cali, I'm in Texas. That's why when I say Harlem Rolling 30, you know what I'm saying, Texas branch, I scream Texas. I don't scream Cali, you know what I'm saying? I scream Texas. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not where you're from, it's where you at. And say, if you real if you real with it, you real with it. If you 100 percent with it, you know what I'm saying? You know how it goes. If you 100 percent with it, you know what I'm saying? It, it goes like that. If you if you're not with it, you know what I'm saying, you won't get rolled over with it. So, you know, to me, if you you know what I'm saying, to me, it's it ain't all about where you're from, it's this where you at with me, man. Yeah. So uh when you leave Texas and go back to LA, right? As far as uh going to see family members and things of that nature, right? Mm -hmm. And as far as the, the Crips in LA, are you accepted the same in LA as you are in Texas? No. And the reason why I say that. Is because when I go to Cali, you know what I'm saying, to see family, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to see family. I'm not going, I'm not going to the block or to the hood to see them out there because I wasn't raised up and rolled and I wasn't raised up with them. Now, now they uncles, they daddies, they mamas, you know what I'm saying? People that's older by my age, you know, if they still around, yeah, if I see them, yeah. But the younger ones, no, because I don't know them and they don't know me. So, in other words, you're saying the respect factor as an OG that wouldn't carry to Kelly as far as to the to the younger generation. No, it don't. And that's for anybody. Unless you got put down in Cali. I like I did. I get I got put down in Cali, but I was so young when I got put down in Cali 85 that none of them, you know what I'm saying, if they is the T Bone and all them was still alive. If they is alive, was T Bone is dead, you know what I'm saying? But if his sister Lorraine and all them was still alive, you know what I'm saying, or whatever around they and, they and I come there and they know me and I mention my hood name that they gave me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they would know me. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, probably give me that and give me that respect and that love, you know what I'm saying? But they wouldn't give me the love as an OG because I wouldn't put, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't out there banging with them like that. I just came got put down left. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm so saying? But let's yeah, talk they, about they love me. Let's talk about the OG status uh, as an OG status in Fort Worth, Texas. How did okay. that go as far as with you? Oh, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I hear, you know what I'm saying? In Fort Worth, Texas, if it's, if you are West Side, if you from West Side Harlem, you know what I'm saying? I'm the one put you down. You know what I'm saying? The first thing, the first thing somebody going to ask you is, you know, OG Teflon? You know what I'm saying? And the first thing they're going to do is call me. Like my old boy, you know what I'm saying? Taz, you know what I'm saying? You know OG from Great Street out here. You know what I'm saying? One of the, one of the OGs from Great Street out here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but like two, two, three years ago, he bumped into this cat talking about he was, you know what I'm saying? He from 30s and woo, woo, woo. He said, oh, yeah, he got on the phone. He called me. He said, look, I could, you know, such, 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 such. Yeah, I know, homie. Yeah, he part of that whoop, 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 whoop. Verify, you know what I'm saying? He let him make it, you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, Tim said he know you. Yeah, you, you, you this, you that. You understand me? You know, it's just because, man, like, see, man, ran the streets with him when we was younger. You know what I'm saying? Uh, OG Doc from the A-Track Gangsters, you know what I'm saying? You know, older cats, you know what I'm saying, that I ran the street with. You know what I'm saying? I did my dirt with, you know what I'm saying? Uh um, I stayed in the butlers, you know what I'm saying? And for a long period of time, I quit I quit doing everything and, and went to school, went to barber college, actually. You understand me? Uh, if my mama was sitting right here, my mama would tell you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I was selling dope and uh, 
I took all my dope and gave it to my mama and said, Mama, here, do what you got to do, mama. I'm going to go to barber college. My little cousin, little Ren, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a little clue, I mean, he was, <laughs> at that time, he was a little dude, you understand know I me? Mean? He couldn't even see over the steering wheel. He t- he driving me <laughs> to my barber college over here off a of seminary, you understand know I me? Mean? Couldn't yeah. even look over the steering wheel, you know what I'm saying? Because I was trying to do something better, you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, I, you know, what y'all doing, I did it, you know what I'm saying? It's time for me to try to do something better, I was trying to do something better. You know what I'm saying? This got pulled back in, but I was trying to do something better. You know what I'm saying? So, and um, just being out here, you know what I'm saying, putting in work, you know what I'm saying, out here, you know what I'm saying, knowing people like Shikan, uh, 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 knowing, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 um, just different OGs out of different sets, you know what I'm saying, that I have did time with or that know me, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And know the people that, you know what I'm saying, if, if, like I said, if you claiming this right here, what I claim, and you and and they ask you, do you know Teflon? And you said, nah, I don't know Teflon. You know what I'm saying? They gonna get on the phone with me. You know what I'm saying? Then me and this nigga he gonna politics with crack. Woo 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 woo. If it ain't what it is, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, that ain't what it is. I'm gonna hang up the phone. You understand know me? Go do what I gotta do. Or I'm gonna pull up and go check it my damn self. You know what I'm saying? You know that's when I was younger. I'm older yeah. now. You know what I'm saying? And I'm wiser now. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about me. Really take two. It's all about me trying to. Teach my kids, you know what I'm saying? Not just my kids, because if you if you want to talk about community revolution, inter-party services that we're supposed to stand for, every kid in the hood is our kids. Do you understand me? Yeah. So when I say I'm teaching my kid, I'm trying to teach all of the kids. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be like what I was. You don't have to go down the road that I went, because I went through down a road, a path that I choose that I didn't have to go down through that. My parents was in the military. You know what I'm saying? I choose to act up and want to do this and want to do that. I choose to want to run the streets and run and run that when I didn't have to do none of that. All I had to do was go to school and get good grades. You know what I'm saying? But no, nah, I didn't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? I want to be with the biggest, the baddest, the baddest, the toughest, the roughest. So I did what I did. I went down my path, did my time, you know what I'm saying? A couple of times, you know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't going back. Went on, moved on. You know what I'm saying? It's all about living. But don't get me wrong. When they say that you're a crip for life, you're a crip for life. I'm a crip for life. I'm a represent to life. That's why I'm sitting here right now with my shirt on. That's why every 30th, you know what I'm saying, of March, I go out to GP and I kick it with my low shotgun, you know what Blue J, Q, and all them. You understand me? We take our hood pictures and everything, and I go on by my way. You know what I'm saying? It's like, a, it's, you know what I'm saying, because these are my brothers. These are, my, these are the guys, that, you know what I'm saying, that was out here that I didn't have nothing to eat that fed me. When I ain't had no money in my pocket, gave me money. When my life's about to cut off, here, homie, woo, 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 woo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I had to pay that back. You know what I'm saying? Because I felt like I had to pay it back. You know what I'm saying? But they was there. They had me. You know what I'm saying? I had them. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, all the shit, all the things that we've been through, that I've been through in these streets, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, man, <laughs> we're in the street with the tough and rough of them. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can say, bro, for real. I don't want to get too technical because yeah, I don't want to spit about Yeah, I don't want to spit about something that later going to come back and folks yeah. going to you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah. you get so, recommended behind something like this. So let me ask you this, man. So Fort Worth, Texas, a.k.a. Murderworth, Texas, right? Yes, sir. What is game banging in Fort Worth like now in 2022? Messed up. <laughs> Crazy. It, you know what I'm saying? I mean... Cause it's not really game banging no more. It's more like clicks. You know what I'm saying? They all clicked up together. You know what I'm saying? I'm riding with this click. We ride with this click. He might be a blood. He might be a crip, but they ride with this click. You know what I'm saying? So they riding on some other, another click member that might have another blood or crip, whatever. You know, it, it's not, it's not what it's, it's not what it's, it's still not doing what it was made to do. Again, community revolution, interparty services. It's not made. It's not done. It's, it's not doing what it's made for. We're not protecting no communities. They're not protecting no communities. You know what I'm saying? They out here, you know what I'm saying? They killing folks at their own house. You know what I'm saying? I mean, don't get us wrong. Yeah, we was out there gangbanging, doing the exact same thing, killing people on the streets and everything. And I can't sit here and tell them, say, man, you need to stop that because that's wrong. Yeah, it is wrong. But I can't sit there and tell them that because simple fact we they see, see older us, people like us, that was doing it, they put it down to them. They looked up to as G's, look, looked up to as OGs. It might not even be their OGs. You know what I'm saying? Say, it's like if I had one of my partners come over here right now, either he was a blood nigga, excuse my language, a blood dude, or if he was a, a blood, you know what I'm saying, a crypt dude, you understand me? The word's gonna come out of their mouth is, What's up, OG? 
is this that respect that they have for you. And I would get I, I return the same the same respect. You know what I'm saying? Because you if you don't have no respect, you know what I'm saying, for yourself, ain't nobody gonna respect you, period. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, I, it was a self-respect that I had for myself to, to make everybody else respect me the way they want to call me an OG. You know what I'm saying? And me becoming an OG right here, out here. One of the OGs out here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but you got other OGs out here that I can't speak up on or don't speak for. I'm not speaking for five dudes OGs. I'm not speaking for seven, oh, 107 OGs. I'm not speaking for six old OGs in West Side. I'm speaking for me and my set as me being an OG in my set. So let me ask this, man. So, you know, like, like you would hear the word OG on a regular, right? And it all has different terminology and different meanings to different people, right? Yeah. So your personal opinion coming from Teflon, what does OG represent to you? Man, look, it ain't nothing but a title, bro. It ain't nothing but a title. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing but a title because I can still learn. I don't know everything. You know what I'm saying? But I do educate myself. I do sit down and pick up a book and learn things. You know what I'm saying? Um, being a you know, what I'm saying being an OG, you got to have your mind level and your heart level on the same capacity. You know what I'm saying? Me? Because you got to be able to, to weave out the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Excuse my language, Mister OG, but I'm just going. I'm going to keep it real. You got to yeah. be able to weave out the. You got to be able to weave it, weave it out. You know what I'm saying? I can't have my homies coming over here and say, "Say fool, we gonna go ride on this nigga over here." I'm like, "What we gonna ride on for?" Oh, because he stepped on such 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 shoe. Oh, because he stepped on your shoe. What you talking about? Because he stepped on your shoe, bro. You both took care of that. Go handle that. Say, bro, you stepped on my shoe. Now, if you want to get disrespectful with it, with the situation and 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 and, and take it out of proportion, handle that. We should have to come run and handle that for you. When you can stand up as an old as, as your own man and handle that, you understand me? To me, you 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 you, you in the category of being a G, being an OG. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't need yeah. nobody to handle it for you. So let me ask this man. So let's talk about uh some of the some of the things that as far as from a uh a positive standpoint, right? Yes, sir. And before I get to that, since your last state in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, how long have you been free? The first time, well, not the first time, uh, uh, after I got out, you know what I'm saying, in 98, I stayed out from 98 to 2012. Uh, I caught a little simple assault charge in 2012, went in, or well, 2011, I mean, went in, got out in 2012. Since from 2012 to now, I've been free. I ain't had no tickets, I ain't been to jail, none of that. None Man. of that. And since you've been here, man, let's talk about some of the uh, the uh, positive accomplishments that you uh, have accomplished since you've been free, man, that you feel like it was something that you always knew that you could achieve in your life, man, that you are most proud of. Oh, man, I'm most proud of, man, of being a father. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm most proud of being a father, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, today, actually, today is my, is my youngest son, I had my youngest child birthday. He turned two years old today. You know what I'm saying? Um, man, say, look, man, I accomplished a whole lot, man, out here, being out here, man. Uh, um, went from doing music, you know what I'm saying, to uh, doing movies with my boy Bulletface Ace, you know what I'm saying, Larry Sim, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, my home there, you know what I'm saying, like a brother to me. Uh, 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 um, I've been doing movies with T. Wee. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to my boy Eminem because he was the one who came and pulled me up and said, look out, Tef, man, uh, I need you to come do this movie with me. We did a movie called Funky Town. It's on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, thanks thanks for that, uh, Eminem. Rest in peace, my bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 um, been doing been doing stuff with uh, with uh, Miss Shante Jones, you know what I'm saying, a.k.a. Taylor. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, we just been out here, to, you know what I'm saying, taking care of business, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing music, uh, my record company, Gangsta City Records, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, I had some groups, you know what I'm saying, that were there with me, a GBA, WGBA, you know what I'm saying, a Gangster and Ballers Association and Gangster Red and Baller Red Association, you know what I'm saying, uh, it had, uh, we had uh, BMC, which was my clique, uh, Black Money clique, uh, TMG, Trevor Mighty Gang Gangsters was with my boy, Dirty Bird, you know what I'm saying, rest in peace to E-Man, G2, Lil James and them, you know what I'm saying, Lil Quinn, uh, uh, um, 
Uh, it was 100% real click, you know what I'm saying, with uh, 100% real in uh, Texas. You know what I'm saying? My boy, a uh, versatile, you know what I'm saying? It's down with, uh, um, I forgot who he, who he down with right now, but he used to be down with us in the hard-headed records, you know what I'm saying? And uh, my boy, Heavy D, a man in them, you know what I'm saying? You know, that, that was running Heavy D. Heavy D was running, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying, uh, heavy, uh, heavy records, you know what I'm saying? A hard hit of records, I'm at uh, my bad. You know what I'm saying? I accomplish a lot of stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the most important thing to me, like I said, is being a father is, is also being able to wake up and be free and, and, and see my kids, you know what I'm saying? And, and 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 my kids see me get up and go to work, not see me just get up and put on a blue flag or a brown flag or a red flag or whatever kind of flag you put on, you know what I'm saying? And go out there and pack a pistol, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, you know what I'm saying? That shit don't even make you don't make you no man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's all in here what make you a man and what you, you know what I'm saying, how you how you live your life. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, one of my biggest accomplishments is, is that, you know what I'm saying, if my kids to see me, that I can sit down and have a conversation with my child and it ain't behind a, a glass window yeah. and over a phone. You know what I'm saying? And they have they didn't have to come thousands of miles away just to visit me to tell me, Daddy, uh, I made A's in school when I can go pick up my daughter. You know what I'm saying? This, you know, see my youngest daughter right now, which is just started kindergarten, she's four, and I can go pick her up and ask her, "Hey, baby, how your day was at school today?" Was so you know what I'm saying? To me, that's one of my biggest accomplishments. You know what I'm saying? That I feel. So let's talk about this, man, and and we all have them, but I feel like it's it's important that I ask you this, man. What a uh one of your biggest regrets that you have in life, man. <laughs> man you know what hollywood i'm gonna tell you like this here man i have no regrets you know why i don't have no regrets because god put me on the path and he showed me everything that i need to know you know what i'm saying so i can't regret what god wanted me to see so i have no regrets you know what i'm saying um even with me being a gangbanger you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm gonna tell you something sir I'm a proud game banger. I've been a proud game banger ever since the day they, they I got I got quoted in. The they gave me my first flag. You understand me, sir? Represented since then. Been representing. I'm 50 years old. You know what I'm saying? Um, so no, I don't regret nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because if I regret it, that mean that 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 mean that it wasn't meant for me to go through it, and it didn't it didn't build no character for me. Everything that I went through built a certain character for me for that certain time. So I don't regret nothing. Now speaking of, of of character right yes sir and i don't know if you know it or not and like i said man something to speak his own self into existence right yes sir i say that to say this man that uh and before i get to this man i want to let the viewers know man that uh nothing on the ferguson chronicle is ever scripted man everything is coming straight row 110 right yes sir and i said to say this man i'm gonna get back on the character piece right because uh the hat I'm wearing now, right? Yes, sir. Which is C-O-E-T, right? Yes, sir. And it stands for character over everything. Right? Gotcha. I just like to bring that to the forefront that you spoke something to an existence that you didn't even know what you were speaking to an existence. And I'm representing that right now, right? And uh that's my brand versus everything. Because I know a brand without character is nothing. Nothing. And so, uh, uh, like I say, man, you know, and, and I'm about to ask this man because I know you qualified to give it, you know. Uh, I want to ask you, what is your advice to anybody as far as from a younger level uh, to stand free and also, like you said, man, being proud of something that you're a part of, but at the same time, representing what it really stands for. What would your advice be to them? My advice would be to them is, man, keep it real. Keep it 1,000, man. Believe in yourself. You know what I'm saying? This ain't for everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's not. You know what I'm saying? Just like football ain't for everybody. Like basketball ain't for everybody. Like swimming ain't for everybody. You know what I'm saying? This is not for everybody. You know what I'm saying? This ain't something that I say. This ain't something that I can say that, okay, uh, I'm in it now. But two or three years from now, I'm going to be out of it. No, it's not that. That ain't what this is. It's a for life thing with me, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna, if if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And you have to be able to be a grown man or be a man, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm gonna say it right. Yeah, you're supposed to be a grown man. 
a grown man about yourself and step up and do the right things so that you feel it's right for you. And like I said, if 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 being being a gangbanger or being a part of a gang or being a part of a, 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 organi a organized structure ain't for you, then don't go out there and be that. Go be what's for you. If you're a singer, be a singer. If you're a rapper, be a rapper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, if you don't want to be nothing, just don't be nothing. Be you. But be the best asset, be the best of you that you can be and be proud of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because if you ain't proud of yourself and you don't show yourself self love, then you ain't gonna be able to have, you can't love nobody. You know what I'm saying? See, I, didn't I can't say that I didn't have no love. I can't say I didn't have a mother or a father figure. I had both of that. It might not have been my real father, but it was both of that. You know what I'm saying? So I choose to go down the roads, like I, again, me personally, my choice to go down the roads that I went. You understand me? So if, 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 if you don't have to go down that path, don't go down that path. If God ain't going to lead you down that path, don't go down that path because that path ain't for you. You got a lot of people that's locked up in prison now that got that's on death row or got, got life sentences and stuff because they went down that path and it wasn't for them. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud yeah. to be what I am. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean that because I'm proud of what I am that you got to be proud and go do the same thing. Because now that's part of the leader. Be a leader. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Be a leader. Do you. You don't have to do what I did. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do what nobody else did. You can be you. Start a new trend. That's all I got to say. So let me ask this, man, like I do on, you know, on my show, man, you know, as we bring it to a close, man, because we already know one thing, man, that uh, uh, time is money and money is time, man. And the biggest thing in life, man, is to never waste a man's time, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> and I firmly believe in that, right? Yes, sir. And, and not a minute here was wasted, man. It was all wisdom and I don't even like to call it game because game has ha, has no room at the Ferguson Chronicle. Yes, sir. Because when I interview a man, uh, it's not a game. You know, I take it as nothing but wisdom. And because it's one thing in life, man, you can't give a blueprint. Life doesn't come with instruction. It's unpredictable. If it bro. did, if it did everybody know how to get through it right yes sir so yes sir. uh all we can do man is, is, is try to learn from each other man and, and, and what we go through we give back to those that will accept it right yes sir and we all can learn from each other right and mm -hmm. and like i said as i bring this to a to a close man i allow you to close this show and know what you want to close it on man shout out to anybody you want to shout out to man give thanks to anybody that have contributed to your life man okay well first of all i want to give a special shout out to god thank you jesus for waking me up in the morning you know what I'm saying to be able to be with my family see my kids you know what I'm saying to see my wife you know what I'm saying you know to see family members see my sister and them you know that's most important you know what I'm saying now I also want to give a shout out a special shout out to a lot of the Fort Worth gang members or uh gang leaders or uh there's people out here in Fort Worth period you know what I'm saying that gave me an opportunity you know what I'm saying to live in they live in their city and live on their blocks and live on their streets you know what I'm saying without me feeling like my life was in danger you know what I'm saying even though I was that type I was down for that type, that type of stuff you know what I'm saying uh you know, my boy C Man, um, my boy Bulletface Ace, you know what I'm saying, my boy T Wee, you know what I'm saying, my boy Little Funky Town Queen. Like I said, again, rest in peace, you know what I'm saying, to Eminem. I can't forget about my boy OG Doc, you know what I'm saying, for A Trey, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, my boy, you know what I'm saying, Lil Robert from Votre, Godfather, Lil Robert from Votre, you know what I'm saying? I get that man his response, his uh, respect, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, you know, um, I just want to give you know what I'm saying, a special thank you to all my hood members out here, you know what I'm saying, that's down with me, you know what I'm saying, that, that's up under me. You know what I'm saying? Or just a part of the hood. I ain't gonna say up under me because we all part of the hood. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, OG Triple C Low. You know what I'm saying? Uh, OG Mother from Capone. You know what I'm saying? OG TC. You know what I'm saying? OG Mark. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, OG L Mac. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, T Cuz. You know what I'm saying? You know, say, I appreciate y'all standing by me. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Rocking with me through, down through the years. You know what I'm saying? Having my, having my back like I had y'all back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I just wanted this, like I said, just want to thank the whole forward committee. I also want to give a shout out to uh to I do uh 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 man say man uh if Mr. Hollywood, if you ain't got contact with him yet, you need to get contact with uh, uh Dude Chappelle, you know what I'm saying? Up out here in Fort Worth, Texas, 
He got a program going out called Build a, Build a Better Hood. And uh, you know what I'm saying? He he connected with people out there in Fort Worth and out here in, in, in Cali. I mean in, in Cali out here in Fort Worth and everything. You know what I'm saying? The man is really doing, he's doing what, what, what it's supposed to be done. And I give that man he respect for that. You know what I'm saying? I really do. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, man, I want to give a shout out to you, man, for you know what I'm saying, for inviting me onto the show, you know what I'm saying, even get my side of the story, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, because like I said, I, you know, I was out there, you know what I'm saying? I was facing I was facing an aggravated life sentence, you know what I'm saying? I had 15 aggravated robberies, you know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for God, man, uh really, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna sit that I'm gonna sit there and say that if it wasn't for God, you know what I'm saying, to walk me through that, you know what I'm saying, and, and show me that that everything was gonna be okay, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. I wouldn't be doing this interview, you know what I'm saying? I'd be in TDC still, you know what I'm saying, you know. Uh, man, and again, I want to give a special shout out to my boy Lowdown. You know what I'm saying, Derek Kyle. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, if it wasn't for him, I don't think I'd be sitting here either. Because uh, me and that dude would fight hard. That thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know them old, the old two man sales. We don't give you no yeah. elbow. You know what I'm saying? You know, so we fight hard up in there. You know what I'm saying? You know, man, say man. One thing I want to say, man, I want to make this clear. Just because you're a gang member, man, it doesn't mean that you're the hardest dude on this earth. You're not. It's always somebody that's bigger and better. It's always somebody that's more tougher. It's always somebody that's willing to take you out. Man, say, if you're going to rep your set or rep your hood or rep whatever whatever you want to rep, rep it, man. But at the same time, it's all about respect. You got to respect the next man. Because if you don't respect the next man, man, then you ain't going to get no respect at all. At all. And right before we get ready to go, I got a special surprise for everybody. You know what I'm saying? This out in Fort Worth, Texas. They know who I'm getting ready to bring. Especially out in Cali, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to bring this man. You know what I'm saying? This is my boy. You know what I'm saying? Like a brother to me. It's my boy Doc. You know what I'm saying? Okay, aka a- a- Big Wiz. You know what I'm saying? A Trey Gangster, original A Trey Gangster. You know what I'm saying? You know, we put down here. You know what I'm saying? We put up there. You know what I'm saying? In Cali in '79. Uh-huh. I'm gonna let him say something before y'all. Go ahead, my nigga. What's going on? I can't see him. Yeah, he just let us talk. Oh, okay. Yeah, but uh, you know, you know how it go. I was one of the first down here. I was down here when it wasn't nothing. So you know, I know all the OGs and everybody that uh came to the forefront, you know, before they was even gangbanging, it was me, you know. And at first they used to laugh at me. Talk about my hair, my clothes, my shoes and all that. I went back to Kelly and come back and everybody looked like me. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, first of all, you know, I had a big old fro. I had two dollar dicky suit on. With some bubble yo, he can't see me. Uh, first of all, I had a big old fro, two dollars worth of clothes on, and some bubble yums, and they was t- that's what they called them. I had a cake, I had a cake and a, and some bubble yums on. That's what they said. <laughs> but and, and some buddies, you know what I'm saying? And croaker sacks and all that. That's what I was into. You know what I'm saying? Looking like a crip all my life. That's all I knew. That's all I knew. I mean, you know, it's not, it's not like. I just I saw it on a TV or something. It's not like I saw it somewhere. I was born into that, mm-hmm. and people would think a dude put me down. My sisters put me down because they was cripplets before me. You know what I mean? This is the '60s and the '70s. You know what I'm saying? I was born in '71, so in the '70s, my sisters were introduced to this. That's why. I was when I say I was born this, I was born this. I that's all I knew. That's all that's all, you know. That's why uh you really don't see me going to the penitentiary a lot because I was taught by older G's. Oh I I was taught by Pimps, Hustlers, G's, all of that, you know. Uh my my father knew CQ and all of those dudes, you know what I'm saying? My father knew uh, Black Panthers and all that type of stuff. You know, my father was one of the first blacks to go to McDonnell Douglas Aircraft and get a job. You know, that's back in the sixties. Uh, my uncles and stuff was one of the first. You know, the blacks to do stuff around the the city and all of that. You know, and uh, and uh, I tell people a girl put me down. There wasn't no dudes, and I know she was more down than any. Dude, that you could find, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, uh, when I first came down here, it was like a whole new world. See, I thought I was going, I was going to come and see tumbleweeds, and <laughs> I'm telling you, 
I'm telling you the truth. I thought I was coming to see tumbleweeds and and people riding a horse, uh, you know, the OK Corral and all of that stuff. When they said Texas, oh, that's what I thought it was going to be, you know. Uh, if you mess with one of them Texans, they're going to shoot you. That's what I knew. That's yeah. what I knew. You know what I'm saying? But it was like, it was like a whole new world to me. And they were more into the hustle game. When I got here, they were more into the hustle game than the gang banging. They never knew about gang banging until NWA and all those other cu- couple of dudes that that uh, uh, that were popular at that time. But funny part about it is when NWA was making all this music about Compton, Compton had steel mills and stuff. It wasn't too many houses in Compton. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? They had sawmills and all that type of stuff in Compton and stuff. We used to ride our, our bikes from South Central to Compton and, you know, jump ramps and all that type of stuff. That's what we was into, you know, as being a young crib. People don't, people don't know that. You know, you didn't have to be tough all your, all your, every minute of the life, of life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we were just really um, going back like to the to the ways of the Black Panthers and stuff like that. That's what we really started as. Mm-hmm. That's what we really started as. Going back, saving our helping 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 uh, old people get their groceries into the car. Community Revolution Inter Party Service. You know, I, I I didn't want to say that, but <laughs> <laughs> but we were helping people. You know what I'm saying? But the truth about it is, they came with dope to infiltrate all of this stuff. They brought dope into the game and made made sure that you would lose. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All <laughs> yeah. <laughs> made sure you, we was losing before, you know, at first it was like, nah, I don't want to touch that. Nah, I don't want to touch that. Nah, I don't want to touch that. Bill come in. Nah, I don't want to touch that. Another bill come in. No, nah, I don't want to touch that. I don't want to touch that. Bill come in. No, nah, I don't want to touch that. Uh, now, all these bills are stacked up high on you and you look at you making t- uh three dollars and 25 cents an hour <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying that dope sack looking mighty that good dope sack is looking mighty good to you <laughs> <laughs> the truth be told and the ogs before me that's who they wanted to get because they had the power to to talk to the community and stuff like that the young little boys that was uh running around that like myself but you know, it was like, uh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna infiltrate this this neighborhood. We're gonna infiltrate this neighborhood, so we're gonna put dope in it first. You know what I mean? I was there through the whole thing. Yeah. I saw the whole thing. You know, uh, they would go get the big time gang bangers. <laughs> they would go get them first and put a key in their pocket. Oh, now you running keys? You thinking it's cool? You got cars? Yo, yo, you got a, a plate every. Uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner when you wanted it. You know what I'm saying? You you got this and got that. Now, guess what they need? They need to uh, they need to catch somebody and somebody big. They didn't made you big, so we gonna go and put you in jail. We gonna go and put you in jail for this. So this let, the let, same let thing ask, they gave to you. <laughs> so let me ask this, man. Before before I get out of here, man. Just like I asked Miss right. When you came to Texas, straight from the motherland, right? Uh huh. It was no gang bangers in Fort Worth, Texas. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. So, explain to me what happened from your end to create that in Texas. Well, well, it's a lot of dudes <laughs> that brought. You know, they brought the dudes that was wanting to bang real hard. I guess my heart, you wouldn't believe my heart is banging when I was eight, seven years old. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Seven, eight years old. That's what I was doing. Uh, All of that lifetime shit. You know what I'm saying? That fucked up shit. I was eight, nine years old. They brought some uh, dude named Bootnose and all the rest of those characters. Bought some uh uh gangbangers down here six o's six o's and all that stuff 
they came down here and and taught all these dudes. But it was a dude named Rank that came down here and uh, put. And he's not even from Los Angeles. He's from Louisiana. He's from another. He's from another state. But he came down here and put everybody down with five dudes. But dig these blues. If if I didn't want to change, see, this is what happened with me. I went to Horseman Junior High. That's Killer Middle School in California. Everybody knows it. Every I went to Killer Elementary. I went to Killer Junior High. LaSalle Elementary. You can look it up. LaSalle Elementary and Horseman Junior High. On my way to Washington High, which is Killer High. And you want to talk about gang banging? Going to them schools that you, you ain't nothing but gang bangers. I'm talking about going into the classroom and looking. Yeah. What we say? I had, to, I had to. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I had to go when I go to a classroom. I open up the door and look how many rolling sixties is in the room <laughs> before I go into a room, a classroom. I had to do that every day. Every day, not you thinking it. Oh, they took time off on me. No, no, <laughs> you thinking they took time off on me. See, I was there when A Trey Gangster and Rolling 60 were just all time hot banging. If you if you if you look at the biggest war, we are the biggest war of gang bangers. Rolling 60 against A Trey Gangster. I had to go, I lived on 85th and Haldale. My school is in 58th Street. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> I had to walk. It wasn't no buses. It wasn't no bus. Oh, no. no I had no. to walk every day to school. Every day. Do you know how big uh, Los Angeles blocks are? Yeah. Think about 85th to 58th. <laughs> but think about this. You got to run half of it. <laughs> I was about to tell you. Think about this. When you get out of school, when the bell rings, you have to have your track shoes on. Because I got 30, 30 or 40, maybe 50, chasing me home. Yeah. Every, do you think they, no, nah, we're going to let them make it today. <laughs> nah, nah. The last day that I was in Fort Worth, I mean, in, in Los Angeles, I was walking. I had got me a girlfriend and all that last day. I got me a girlfriend and all that. And I'm walking out of the out of the school. It's after school. I'm walking. And then she drops all of a sudden. I look. They didn't throw a brick trying to hit me and hit her in the head. Knocked her <laughs> completely out. Do I lean down, baby? What's wrong with you? You know, but this crowd is running toward me. This, this crowd is running toward me. Yeah. I'm I'm looking down. This is the last day in, in Los Angeles. I'm looking down trying to console her and I look up and it's she's from this hood though. She's from Rolling Six. I'm looking down. Oh baby, come on, come on, come on. I look. Do I stay there? Or do I let them chase me off? They got stay there and get whooped. I didn't did that one before. When it first started, I thought I could fight. I thought I could fight one of them. And they would leave me alone. Shit. Like at any school, I thought. No, Shit. no, not at horse man. Uh they jumped me. They jumped uh, they jumped me. And see, I lived in a part like South Central where right on the edge where bloods are. I crossed too many too many blocks over. I crossed Western and it's over for me. You know yeah. what I mean? And and that day. I was supposed to be, I didn't know that I was going to Texas. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know I was going to Texas. I, when I, uh, when I, when I, when, when I took off and ran, I ran home and my, fa my father, like I say, he was McDonald Douglas. He was at McDonald Douglas aircraft. He say, I got your ticket right now for what you going to Texas because he was tired of me having to run home, uh, Coming home with bruises and bumps on my forehead, you know, knots on my forehead. I'm fighting hard and tired of me getting jumped on and and nobody's doing nothing about it. You know, I tell the teachers and it's like going in through one ear and out the other. They here to teach you not to help you save you from getting your ass. <laughs> 
You hear me? And I tell you that too. We're not here to we're not here to save you. We're here to teach you this math problem or whatever. <laughs> we're not here to save you, you know. And they know that I was getting whooped. They know that I was getting whooped. And I always thought uh, I'm an eight track gangster to the day I die. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell me nothing. I was tough like that. I thought, you know, <laughs> I, <laughs> I thought, you know, that's what it was. All these rolling sixties and me, you know what I mean? And I went every day when I got here, they was like, they was like, uh, Ooh, Ooh, what, where you get the, what you doing with those, uh, Ten dollars worth of clothes on. What you doing with that big old? You got a cake. <laughs> they dress me up in penny loafers, Braxton jeans, and a nice polo. <laughs> okay, so I learned that. I was adapting to that. Okay, nice polo. When I go back, I go back to Cali. Of course, they got words for me. Say, cuz, what's wrong with you? What you doing? What you wearing? Girl, what they got on, cuz? Yeah. So I had to. <laughs> We formed back to, well, I, I could put on these dickies and just kick it. So I go back to Cal, uh, Fort Worth, and now everybody look like me. <laughs> I got on dickies suit. I'm, I come back in the Braxton's and Polo, and everybody cut off dickies. Uh, they were wearing the, their favorite basketball jersey, uh, t-shirt or something like that, dickies and a t-shirt, and and with some your favorite tennis shoes. Yeah. And I was like, y'all was calling that raggedy when I first got here. Y'all was calling me rag bum when I first got here. The first, the reason why I didn't, because all of Fort Worth could have been a Trey Gangster Crip. I could have did that. And say, say, uh, OG Hollywood, say, honest to God, excuse me, honest to God, when he say that, he really meant that. You know what I'm saying? Really, real talk. You know what I'm saying? Where he was at. You know what I'm saying? If if, if he would have just said, okay, I'm gonna put this down, all mm -hmm. oh, y'all gonna be eight, everybody around here, even even OGC man, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? C man too would have been a trade gangster, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, but they all all of them started off in South, you know what I'm saying, it, 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 uh, South Side Dillon. You know what I'm saying? Just like mm -hmm. on the west side, you had the back, you had the black villain assassin, and then on the south side, you had the south side villains. You know what I'm saying? I'm one but, of the G's of that too. I'm one of the G's of that too, because I didn't wanna see. I'm an A-Track Gangster Crip. You'll never be able to see that block. So I wouldn't put you down into that. You can't never take a picture on that street. You don't know nothing about this street because you know nothing about that. If you knew about the culture, if you was living in the culture, maybe I would have uh, did that. But they weren't living in the They were a whole different type of uh animal out here they was trying to get keys they was trying to get that money they were trying to get <laughs> around here billy ray maddox and all of them you know what i'm saying yeah they was looking up to that dude instead of a gang member the only reason why uh uh anybody became a gang member is because of nwa and all of that coming down here and then uh um boot nose and all of them came and brought those other guys down here. But I was already here. Big Nolan and all the Nolan and all those guys. Uh, uh, all those guys. I was already here, though. You know? And I just faded back because it's like in California, it was a culture. It's the way it's the way you moved. It's the way you grew. You, this, live. you lived this. This is what you ate, slept, and died for. And I didn't want to put that on nobody that didn't know nothing about it. You know what I mean? I didn't want that to even, that part of the game to even come to them, really, because they was making so much money. They were making some some money. When Gang Bang came, it changed the whole, their whole hustle. Yeah. It changed their whole hustle. When Gang Bang came, it changed their whole hustle. That's what I would tell him too, Doc. I would tell him, you know, because he asked me, he said, uh, 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 of the definition from you know what I'm saying the Cali game bang, you know what I'm saying the mm -hmm. Texas game bang. like I told my when I was in Cali, when it was Cali, it's Cali, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Gang bang, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We no riding, you know what I'm saying? We dicking, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? We look, you know what I'm saying? We flagging, you know what I'm saying? In Texas, Texas talking about how to be a hustler, hustler, you know what I'm saying? Talking about how to get out and get that get money, that money. Out that's, what it was. That grind, you know that's what all it was. was. That's all it was. That's all it was. And trades up to that, Mike. Trades, trades for days, man. 
Once again, real life people, real life story with nothing is ever scripted, man. So, Mr. Man, I appreciate you for coming on, man, for bringing that real OG out of LA on, man. But uh, I got to get out of here, man. You boys stay up and most of all, stay free. Say, man, you know, uh, now that I've got on this with you, we're going to have to do this again, man, and, and tell my story, man, you know. Ain't no doubt, man. Ain't no doubt, yeah. man. Uh, because uh, people you know, was telling me, people was telling me that uh, they was talking about me on on your little podcast, on your your uh, podcast, and I was like, uh, "Who is this? Who, who is who? Who is this right here, Hollywood? Who is that?" And they was telling me, "Oh, here G, here G," and it's a few dudes that confirmed you to me. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, "Oh man," because uh, my my nephews do a nice little old cute podcast. Yeah, I don't want to bring that to their world. You know what I mean? I don't want to bring that G shit to their world. Yeah, I wanted to. Uh, you're the best. You're the best to put it out. Really. <laughs> yeah, you really. You're the best one that I can put it out to. You know, and I'm. Yeah. I'm just. But I wanted to tell you this. It's nothing. There's nothing that I. I don't. I don't. Nowadays, I don't really want. To, it shouldn't be another gangbanger. Say true. It shouldn't be another gangbanger. Cause ain't nobody built for this. It shouldn't be another gangbanger. I don't know how it got so massive because everybody's not a gangbanger. Everybody's not built for that. Yeah. That's a different world. And it's some that are saved to try to get saved. You know what I'm saying? Thinking yeah. they're getting saved because, oh, you can say five dudes, four trade, 107. You can say all these names and all these numbers, but you're not really, there's, you're not really a part of this. Yeah just to keep them off your back you hear me keep niggas off your back you you say these names like i told you it was a dude talking about me and he didn't even know that he, he's talking about me in my face to me you know what i mean what's yeah. up hollywood say uh, og hollywood man i appreciate you man for inviting me on there you know what I'm saying on, on, on your on, uh, on your show you know what I'm saying spitting give me a chance to, you know what I'm saying spit the real you know what I'm saying tell you a little bit about me you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying uh I brought, like I said, brought my boy, you know what I'm saying, OG Doc, you know what I'm saying, Big Wiz, you know what I'm saying, from the A Trade, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, to be here with me, you know what I'm saying. I appreciate everything that, uh, that, that you know what I'm saying, that your, your, uh, your platform is doing. I love it. Keep, yeah, continue man. to keep doing it, man. I watch it all the time. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you for that, you know what I'm saying, for giving us people an uh, 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 avenue and a lane to, to say what we got to say. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for that, man. Me and Seth throwing a party uh, on the 24th. Tell you the truth. <laughs> Me and so, hello. Yeah, like I said, man, I appreciate y'all for coming on, telling y'all story, man. Uh, I wouldn't have had no other way, man. Uh, y'all stay safe, stay up, and yeah, man. About stay free, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, man. Salute. Right, all my man. thumb games out there, man. Thumbs up to y'all, man. Trades for days, man. You know Trades for days. Once again, real life story, real life people with nothing that was scripted here at the Ferguson Chronicle, man. I just thought I'd do it a little different today, man. And uh, bring some real guys that can touch on uh, the gang situation, man. Until then, man, OG Hollywood salutes.